All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today it's all about this guy right here. This is the newly released USA Lite from the Amsteel guy. Now I'm going to go over a few of the specifications here inside, then we're going to go outside and I will show you how the USA Lite works in conjunction with my Predator XL and then also a few B sticks that I have. And then at the end of the video, we are going to give instructions of how you can win three of these USA lights from the Amsteel guy. So before we jump outside and I show you how this works on my Predator XL and also some B sticks that I have, let's talk about the specifications. So the USA stands for Ultimate Stand or Ultimate Stick Attachment. And it was released originally back in September of 2021. This is the original USA. And then this is the original USA XL. And I've used that all season. And uh, I actually have on my playlist a video dedicated to a postseason review um, breaking down the USA XL. And so again, ultimate stand, ultimate stick attachment. About two months after I released the video on the USA XL, Sam reached out to me and said, hey, I have another variation of the USA that I want to send you so that you can try out. And I said, absolutely. He said, it's going to be called the USA Lite. It's going to be lighter, but another key feature is you will be able to work it with one hand. And I said, hey, that sounds great. Let's do it. And so he sent me some of these to play around with. And so what you have here is on the USA Lite is you have your main line. You can get this in six foot or eight foot increments. You can get it off of Etsy or Eastern Woods Outdoors. If you get a six foot uh, USA Lite, it's $19. If you get a eight foot, it's $21. But what you have is either six or eight foot of eighth inch am steel as your main line right here. And this has a safe working load of 500 pounds. And then you have in the red right here, you have 764 inch am steel and it's attached via or to the main line via a swabish hitch. Now I really like the swabish hitch. It's swabish, swabish, however you say it, I don't know. But the swabish hitch, I really like the swabish hitch on am steel, am steel on am steel or am steel on Oplux. I feel like it breaks and it moves a lot easier than the Prusik loop does. And so again, you have a 764th continuous loop of am steel that's attached to the main line via a Swabish hitch. Now the Swabish hitch has a 320 pound safe working load. And then you have a three thirty seconds of an inch zing it. If I can get my hands on it, a zing it. This is not load bearing at all. What this is, is a tender that will help you to be able to tighten this swabish hitch or to tighten your platform or your sticks to the tree with one hand. And I'll show you how that works in a little bit. It's pretty slick. So again, you have the eighth inch main line, you have the 764th swabish um, continuous loop of am steel on the swabish hitch and then a zing it. And pretty much that's what makes up the USA light. And so let's jump outside and let's show you how easy it is to work the USA light and then um, I'll cover a few other things that I have found, and after that, we'll talk about the drawing. So let's do it. The first thing you want to do is attach the USA light to your platform or your sticks via the Versa button. So essentially what I do is I put my fingers through the Versa button loop, I grab the main line, I pull my, myself a little girth hitch loop, slide it over, and then simply pull it tight, and uh, it girth hitches really, really nice on any platform or stick that has the Versa button. So let me go ahead and show you the two ways to attach your platform to the tree. The first uh, way that I do it is I just double wrap the tree. And the way that I do that is I will wrap around, I'll pull that tight, I'll come around the tree underneath the Versa button like that. And then I go behind the main line. And so what I like about this is when you do that and then you pull it tight the opposite way, it creates a wedge factor right here and it enables you to pretty much go hands free. And so that's one way that I do it. And then basically I will come around the tree the opposite way. And this is where I'll hook up, I'll hook up the uh, continuous loop, the swabish hitch, and then I'll put the zingot over top of that. And then from there I can simply pull 
and you can see that that will tend. Now, in a real life hunting scenario, I'm obviously going to have this platform uncammed, so I'll show you that real quick. I'll just pull that off, but uh, we'll rewrap this just so you can see. So you come around, you go ahead and make sure I'm in frame there. Go ahead and come around the tree underneath the Versa button and behind the main line right here. Like so, at this point in time, I will pull tight, but I'll also uncam my, my platform. And so I'll pull tight, that will create that wedge. I can go hands free. And then from here, I'll come back around the tree and then this is where I'll attach my continuous loop and also the zing it. Make sure that you're tight. Go ahead, pull those as tight as you can get them, like so. Seat that, that platform and go ahead and cam that platform down. And as you can see, look, I'm peeling the bark off man when you do that that is rock solid any movement that you see here is simply movement of the flexing of the platform absolutely rock solid and one thing I did not mention in the specs about the USA light is it's light I think Sam said um, the six foot USA light weighs 0.7 ounces so less than one ounce and the eight foot USA light weighs 0.8 ounces and so incredible incredible strength to, to weight ratio and so here is the second way the second way is what Sam calls the trucker's hitch now I'm going to try to get this in but basically I want you to notice where the swabish hitch is it's actually on the side of the tree right here okay and so what you do is you come around your Versa button, like so, and then you come back through the continuous loop, and from there, you'll go ahead and you'll crank that tight, like so. Then you come underneath the Versa button, behind the main line, or underneath and behind the main line, pull that up as a wedge factor and then from here you can just tie a half hitch like so like like that and uh, I, I'm obviously I don't have the the platform uncammed but you get the point so and that right there that trucker's hitch that is rock solid rock solid it's just like the other one super super rock solid now for the climbing sticks, there is another way that you can attach the stick to the tree using this USA light that, that I don't use with the platform and that basically is a single wrap. So um, you just come around the tree, go ahead and, and put the continuous loop of Amstel over your zingit, tighten that guy down as much as you can like that. Kind of works much like a daisy chain. And then from here, pull out the bottom of the stick and seat that puppy down. Now I think, I think what happens when you try to do that on the platform is with the B stick or any stick, I think because when you put your foot here, you're only three to four inches away from the tree, so there's not much leverage. Whereas when you try to use the USA light on the, the platform, you're further away from the tree, so there's a lot more pressure. And I think that that swabish hitch it has a tendency to want to slide on you but here on the stick it's not the same and so i could kind of just stand up here and you can see that ain't going anywhere uh, and so that's one way that's an easy way just remember with your sticks that what you do going up the tree you have to undo when you're coming down the tree so for me if i'm going to utilize the usa light and sticks, then I'm probably going to use that single wrap method just so I don't have to undo a bunch of stuff. But again, you can do the same thing with the stick that you can do with the platform and you can do the, the double wrap. <clears throat> you come around the tree underneath 
behind you seat that come back around and of course hook up your loop system go ahead and tin that tight like so and then kick out the bottom and you can see that that really didn't have as much slack but this is a solid way for your sticks for your platform and then lastly again you could utilize the trucker's hitch on your sticks but for me even though the trucker's hitch is a very very solid attachment uh, method again what you do you have to undo when you're coming down the tree so you can come around come through the loop and and may, maybe to some it's not as many steps as the other ones um, I, I would just suggest you mess around with it figure out what you what you like what you don't like uh, simple as that seat that guy it's not going anywhere all right, guys, as always, if there's anything I've overlooked or I did not cover and you have questions, just drop them in the comment section below and I'll do everything I can to answer your question. Now, in regards to winning three of these USA lights, all you have to do, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. But what you really have to do is just comment in the comment section below. And in two weeks, I'm going to run a random YouTube comment picker. And whoever the lucky winner is, I will reach out to you and contact you. And then we will get these shipped out to you. Again, thanks for watching and good luck.